going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and today we are going to be talking about a Pokemon theory that's been cooking in my head for years, and I just never got around to making it. I do either forget about it, or have something come up when I wanted to shoot it. And now it's time to make that video. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And that is that the Pokedex entries are made by the protagonist. And what I mean by that is we get a lot of, like, strange singular Pokemon entries, um, and, like, it just wouldn't make sense if this was, like, a national Dex thing. So, for what I mean by that is, like, the biggest example is Cubone. Cubone's mother died, and it wears the skull of his mother. Um, in memory and honoring it and everything like that. So does that mean every single Cubone's mother died when they were born? Um, obviously, when you breed them, it doesn't work that way. You don't lose your marrow after Cubone when you breed a Cubone. Um, and like just kind of little things like that. Um, so my thought is that when you are the protagonist in the game, the Pokemon that you catch or the Pokemon that you see, you report down what it is that you observe, and that is the official Pokedex entry. So, like, you do see the Cubone, especially in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, you see the Cubone come up and say goodbye to its Marowak mother as it disappears. So, <clears throat> that's where you're like, oh, it must be wearing its mother's skull, even though... Every single two bone has a skull on its head. <laughs> um, or like Ditto being a failed experiment. You're walking around reading about Mew and Mewtwo's creation where you find Ditto. So you're thinking, oh, this must be what this Mewtwo is. Or a way to, to this Mewtwo and stuff like that. And another reason why I think this is true is... Professor Oak, or whatever the professor of the region is, sends you out to collect this information on Pokemon. It would not make sense if he's like, yeah, here's a full Pokedex, everything you need to know is in here, but I want you to catch more Pokemon, and it's not going to tell you about it until you catch that Pokemon. That wouldn't make sense. See, it would make more sense of uh, you filling out the information. Now, we did kind of get that confirmed in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but everything else... Sorry, there's a fly on my desk, but it's really annoying me. Uh, anyways, it, everything else, it's like there are some weird, singular Pokemon entries on there. This fly is really annoying, sorry. There's some singular Pokemon entries. And, like, some very strange ones, where it's like... You learn about the myths of certain ghost-type Pokemon, like how uh, Drifloom likes to carry children off into the night and then drop them, and uh, like stuff like that. And it feels like you probably catch these Pokemon and ask about them to other people, and like, hey, what well, have you heard about this Drifloom? And of course, because it's a ghost Pokemon, people hear scary stories about it all the time and everything like that, and they're like, oh... That one likes to kill children, be careful, and like stuff like that. And, um, I mean, like I said, every time that you're like interacting with very lore heavy Pokemon, you're always in a particular area that gives lore for those Pokemon. So it does feel like you are the one that is officially. Is officially coming up with this data for the Pokemon. But yeah, so that's my theory. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell. Follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you. Have an amazing day.